Hi everyone, I'm Two Works for your Chief Meteorologist, Brett Anthony. Something rare happening this weekend. We have an eclipse of the supermoon. That's pretty rare. It doesn't happen too often. We'll talk about how often that has happened. But let's first talk about the lunar eclipse. What is going to happen this Sunday night, starting at 9, 11 in the evening, ending at 10, 23. That's when the Earth will pass between the sun and the moon, and so we'll have a lunar eclipse. In fact, this will also be called a blood moon, as we'll filter out enough of that sunlight to make the moon appear as if it is red. And this is all part of the lunar tetrad. That means there are four straight total eclipses of the moon, and they're spaced at six lunar months apart, or six full moons apart. And that's exactly what is happening this Sunday night into Monday morning. So some other facts about the blood moon. This is a supermoon eclipse. It's only happened five times in the 1900s. 1910, 1928, 1946, 1964, and 1982, and it won't happen again until October 8th, 2033. It also happens to be the harvest moon, and this is making a lot of folks think that perhaps the world will end, but despite rumors, there are many articles around the uh, internet that say the world will not end on Sunday night. What about the viewing? Well, it looks like at 10 p.m. on Sunday night, our skies are going to be clear. And that looks like it's going to be clear everywhere uh, in Arkansas, into southwest Missouri, parts of south central Kansas. But if we zoom right in on Tulsa, it looks like we're going to have clear skies. So the supermoon eclipse this Sunday night starting at 9, 11 p.m., ending, I think, at 10, 23. Thanks for watching this edition of Weather Wise. And make sure you check back to KJRH.com for more updates on the forecast as we get closer to Sunday's big event.